Micro and macro strategies to deal with restoring the economy are part of complex solutions which are challenging not only the ordinary Trinbagonian but also the government. Economist Dr. Marlene Atz says that the effects of the COVID-19 fallout impacts females more than males, with them losing jobs more readily. She says that this job loss cascades into even deeper and more complex economic patterns which show the vulnerable nature of workers today. So your mother or your father becomes unemployed. They don't have the money to pay the internet. So it's not transportation costs anymore because they're not going anywhere physically. But it's the internet that has to be paid, the light bill that has to be paid, the instrument that has to be purchased, whether you have to put data on your phone, how, whatever instrument. So, so yeah. there are a number of these complex issues that we really have to get to. Um, but, but, but moving forward, there are, of course, the larger, when you move from that micro-individualistic household sort of um, scenario, then you come to the economic space yeah. where things are, are really very awkward and challenging for the government. Dr. Axe says that on the macro level, country recovery all over the world is now relying on access to vaccines. Uncharted waters were in unprecedented times. He also needs to find money to buy vaccines. Because if we were to extract from what is happening in the global space, that economic recovery is going to be linked to the rollout of vaccines and yeah. economic growth, it means that we need to essentially follow suit. That's one of the things that we would need to take pattern from. She says that the IMF predictions of 2.1% growth for TNT may be optimistic as we continue to struggle with the debt and lowered production in the energy sector and in the economy overall.